ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. I didn't realize it was a man of the cloth. Uh, well, forgive my intrusion, friend. Uh, I'm the Reverend Prospero. This is my daughter, Miranda. How do you do? We seem to be lost. Well, now, what can I do to help? Oh, that's very gracious, sir. Yes, gracious indeed. Uh, you see, we're on our way to my new pastor in Pine Valley, mm -hmm. and as I said, we seem to be lost. Uh, do you by any chance have a map of this territory? Yes, I do. Oh, but it's against company rules to allow strangers in after hours. Still, if I can't trust a parson, I reckon there's no one I can't trust. <laughs> Come on in. What's the idea of the... The idea is robbery, my friend. Now, if you'll be so kind. Open the safe. You're joking. A parson would never do a thing like this in front of his little daughter. You heard what the man said. Open the safe. disguised as little girl. What names do they use this time? Reverend Prospero and Dr. Miranda. Two characters from Shakespeare's play The Tempest. Them sound like same two people who pull other Wells Fargo holdups lately. Yes, and always in disguise and using Shakespearean names. My theory has to be right. They're two actors from this traveling company. But them go broke last month. Them all go back east. Apparently not all of them. Two of them must have stayed behind. And they're using their knowledge of makeup to pull these robberies. Then how we stop them if we not know what them look like? Well, each town they've held up has been due east of the town before it. As if they were working themselves back from where they came. Mm -hmm. Next town east of here is Cedar Springs. Uh, you're right. We better warn the Wells Fargo agent there that he may expect a visit from these two actors. Only this time we'll be there to greet them. Let's go. Sweetheart, you shall be the one to choose which one of these beers I shall wear for my little performance this afternoon. Whether it shall be this, of Petruchio, hmm? or uh, uh, this, of Otello, <laughs> or this, this of Shylock, huh? Or maybe I should go as Puck, just a bare-faced, innocent, apple-cheeked little one, huh? Oh, <laughs> darling, whoever you go as, you'll still be the handsomest outlaw in the territory. Uh, Juliet. How silver sweet sound lovers' tongues by night, as softest music upon attending ears. By the way, have you made up your mind what disguise you're going to wear? Time enough for that later. First, I must make sure I'll even need one today. What do you mean? When I nosed around this afternoon, I heard definitely there's going to be a $10,000 payroll arriving at 3 o'clock this afternoon. It won't hurt to double check. After three robberies, Wells Fargo may be throwing out false leads. Well, how will you find out? I'm a woman, darling. And women are much more resourceful than men. <laughs> I'll see you in an hour, honey child. Bye, you all. What the? Don't reach for your gun, Mr. Hollister. How'd you know my name? 
It's our business to find out all we can about people we have come to help. You ever seen one of these before? Silver. Yes. The company sent out a report on you two once. A masked man and an Indian who've helped to protect Wells Fargo shipments. What are you doing here? We have reason to believe that this office is going to be held up by two outlaws who've been robbing the Wells Fargo offices. You expect shipment of money soon? Yes. This afternoon, as a matter of fact. Three o'clock. But how would these outlaws find out about this? I don't know, Mr. Hollister. They're smart and ingenious. Only this time, if they come, we'll be waiting for them. Oh, it is true what I heard. It just can't be true. Masked. Are they the hold-up men? Now, take it easy, ma'am. What's troubling you? Well, who are they? Are they the robbers? You have nothing to fear from us, ma'am. That's right. They're friends of Wells Fargo. Come to help me protect our shipments. Then the rumor I just heard isn't true. What rumor was that? That the coach heading for this office was just held up. Everything on it stolen. Oh, my valuables. Oh. Whoever started that rumor is a liar, ma'am. I got a wire from Center City saying the coach left there just an hour ago. It'll be here at 3 o'clock, right on schedule. Oh, I'm so relieved to hear that. You must forgive me for getting so upset, but with all these holdups lately, it's hard not to believe the worst. I understand, ma'am. Now, don't you worry about a thing. You just go right on home. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, gentlemen, too. I'll breathe a lot easier now. Poor woman. Half the town's been like that since this wave of robbery started. But she's the most hysterical one I've ever seen. Are you sure it was hysteria? What do you mean? She could be a skillful actress, trying to find out about the money shipment. By golly, I never thought of that. And I told her, too. What do you know about her? Very little. She and her husband came to town a couple of days ago. Said there's honeymooners. Took the bridal suite over to the hotel. Uh, a front corner rooms on the second floor. I'd like to get a look at those rooms. If she is one of the robbers, I may find some evidence there. That's plenty dangerous, Kimitani. Maybe her husband there waiting for her now. I hope he is, Tano. I'd like to have a talk with him. You go after her. Find some way to bring her back. I'll be fine way, Kimitani. Don't tell anyone that I suspect her. Just keep her here as long as you can. Fargo agent wants you to come back to office. What for? May think him have more news about stagecoach. You, you mean it has been delayed? May not know what I should say. You come back to office. Yes, I, I think I'd better. The Indian told me you just had another message from the stagecoach. Message? What message? Me tell her how you send me after her. There may be delay. Uh, Delay. Oh, oh, the delay. Uh, yes, yes, there was another message. The coach may be a little late getting here. So I thought it would be smart if you gave me a list of the valuables you're expecting, so I could check them and see if they're all there. Oh, that won't be necessary. On the contrary, ma'am, I insist. If there's one thing the company takes pride in, it's protecting the valuables of its customers. Now, you tell me what you're expecting, piece by piece. Well, let me see now. Uh, there's my diamond ring. Uh, a pearl necklace. Who is it? Message. Make a sound, you'll force me to use this gun. What is this? A hold up? I have nothing of value. Exactly what I'm here to find out. I don't understand. You'll find out soon enough. Now sit down. Just who are you? That is none of your business. I'm making it my business, mister. Now, what is your name? It's Horatio. Horatio Montague. Horatio Montague? Thanks for giving yourself away so quickly. What do you mean? Montague is Romeo's last name. Horatio was a character in Hamlet. Well, it's, it's just a coincidence. You're wrong. It fits the pattern set by the outlaws who held up the Wells Fargo office. 
Now, you Shakespearean names every time. Your name is Faversham, isn't it? Well, what if it is? That doesn't prove a thing. Not a thing. I'll have to find proof. What are you looking for? Is this the frock coat you wore as Reverend Prospero when you held up Pine Valley? That doesn't prove a thing, and you know it. If I stole anything, where is it? You're quite right. I'll need more than a costume as evidence. Well, you won't find anything more. Just what did you do with the money? Ship it back east so it'll be waiting for you when you get there? Go back east and find out. Why don't you give up, mister? You're not going to prove anything on me, and there isn't going to be any way you'll be able to. Maybe there is a way, Faversham. What do you mean? You'll find out. Maybe I better read this list back to you just once more. Really, Mr. Hollister, you've read it back to me three times already. I assure you it's correct. I appreciate your thoroughness, but I really must be going. Goodbye. Reckon we gave you mask friend enough time at the hotel? Ah, if there be evidence there, me think he must have been find it by now. Darling, are you here? Come in here, I've something to tell you. The coach is due a few minutes past three. The payroll will be on it. Darling, why are you made up as Otello? Why not, Zortello? Really, do it, that voice. Don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? And what's wrong with my voice? It sounds like a foghorn. I know you like to show your versatility, dear, but there's such a thing as going too far. Besides, it's ridiculous to think of holding up the Wells Fargo office disguised as a Tello and Desdemona. And what's ridiculous about it? My sweet, it's one thing to be a parson as you were in Pine Valley, or a Civil War veteran as you were in Cloverdale, but a Tello, never. But darling, this costume is so roomy. Think of all the money it will hold. <laughs> Stop being silly, my sweet. The money will fit very nicely in the false bottom of the trunk with all the rest. Thanks for telling me where you keep it hidden, Mrs. Faversham. What? But who? The man with the mask. Oh, no. Where's my husband? He's tied up in the bedroom. Oh, I hate you. You spoiled everything. Won't work again. It's no use trying hysterics. But you don't understand. I'm not acting. These are real tears. Oh, where's my handkerchief? I have to tie you up, Mrs. Faversham. This is the end of the road for you and your husband. Not quite, mister. Put your hands up and turn around. It may be the end of the road for you, but not for us. I'm getting worried, Indian. That payroll money is due here any minute now. And your friend should have been back long ago. That's right. Me not like it. Maybe you ought to go to the hotel and see if anything's gone wrong. Ah, me be right back. Kimisabi? Yes, Tano. You all right, Kimisabi? I was tricked by the oldest device in the world. A woman's tears. She had a derringer hidden in her handbag. I wonder how long I've been unconscious. Me not know, Kimisabi. It looked like them leave in plenty big hurry. Yes, they took the evidence with them. It was hidden in the bottom of their theatrical trunk. Is Mr. Hollister alone at the Wells Fargo office? That's right, Kimisabi. Me get worried about you. Help me off with this disguise. And make... Mr. Hollister! Mr. Hollister! What happened? They took me by surprise. Not five minutes after the payroll money arrived. They forced me to open the safe. They were in disguises. No. No, none at all. They had a buggy waiting outside with a big trunk in it. I saw it before they knocked me out. Go after them. Find them. I'll be all right. How you doing, Matilda? Ain't never been on such a bumpy road like this before, Hezekiah. Mighty rough on the bustle. Poor little Effie May. She's slum wild. Wake up, Effie May. Say something nice to your grandpappy. Yeah. That's a good girl. Now go back to sleep, you little knucklehead. Oh, no, 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 Matilda. Is that any way to treat our granddaughter, huh? 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 
<laughs> you look absurd. Is this a ridiculous way to be traveling? Oh, but a wonderful way to deceive anyone who follows us. A silly express agent will tell everyone we made our getaway in a buggy. I never dream we'd take time to put on this disguise and switch to a wagon, which is even slower. I hope you're right, but look up there. Well, well, our two old friends. Think they'll stop us? Of course they will. They'll want to know if we've seen a young man and a woman driving along this road in a buggy. Yes, but supposing they recognize us. Oh, darling. They've seen us as we really look, not as we are now, dressed as a couple of country bumpkins with a baby. Besides, we're actors, aren't we? If we can deceive a whole audience, we can surely deceive one masked man and an Indian. But just in case they get a little too inquisitive. My little friend here will be hidden in Effie Mae's blanket, ready to talk back to them. Look like Palmer's wagon. Let's find out if they've seen anything of two young actors trying to make a getaway in a buggy. Pull up on that wagon. They must be in the hole. Oh. Now, uh, now, look, mister, if, if you're aiming to rob us, we ain't got nothing or no value. Well, please don't be alarmed. We mean you no harm. Then why are you wearing that mask? Seems old law-abiding folk ain't safe on these roads no more. Hush up, Effie Mae. Your grandma won't let them touch you. I can assure you all we want to ask is a few questions. Well, well then go right ahead and ask. We, we ain't running to a soul for days that we plumb relish a little visit. Have you seen a man and a woman go by here recently? They'd be traveling rather fast in a buggy. They had a large trunk with them. Well, now that you mention it, uh, a couple did pass us a while back. They turned off the shortcut to the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, Matilda. And, and come to think of it, they did have a drunk in that buggy they was driving. That sounds like them, Kimis, honey. Yes, they'd be wise to head for the border as fast as they can. Thanks for the information. Oh, oh Lavinia, you're a genius. <laughs> Not a genius, darling. Just a great actress. Well, <laughs> Why we stop, Kim is happy? Because the man and woman we're looking for aren't headed for the border. What do you mean? We're in that wagon we just left, Tunnel. You sure of that? I've worn disguises long enough to recognize makeup when I see it. Then why we not take them prisoner when we stop them? Because that woman would have shot us if we'd have made a move. She had a gun hidden under that blanket. I had to go along with the act. Then how we take them? I think I know a way. Come on. <laughs> This way. Let's go. putting on that act. Very clever, mister. I apologize for having underestimated you. Pull up on those horses. Anything you say, mister. Get him, Dewey! Get him! Get him! Acting, Faberson. It may not pay as well, but it's a lot safer profession. Now on your way. You're not 
not try any more tricks. Esther, looks like it's all here, all right. The company's going to be mighty grateful that you got it back for him. Me tell Sheriff what happened, Kimo Zabi. I'm on way over now. Good. Mr. Hollister, can we leave our prisoners with you? I'll keep this gun in right out until the sheriff gets here. I feel sorry for you two. Could have used your talents to do a lot of good instead of so much bad. Come on, Tuttle. The world is but a stage wherein every man must play a part. Mine a sad one. Oh, don't be sad, darling. We may have failed as outlaws, but we're still good actors. Yeah. Think of all the great shows you two can do up at the prison for that captive audience. You're so right. You might almost say the masked man has done us a favor. By the way, who is he? He's a man who does lots of favors, but only for folks on the right side of the law. He's the Lone Ranger. Mm -hmm.